addition. We have added two things together. Sum up together. But today in this class we will learn about subtraction. So students do you know what is the meaning of subtraction? Subtraction means making difference. Picking up some objects from any group. See here I have group of pens. Okay. Group of pen. Here see how many pens are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I have 7 pens. Okay. I am going to give 2 of these pens to my friend. Okay. How much pens will remain with me? Okay. Should we check? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 pens. Whatever I did here, that is called as subtraction. We have picked up some things from a group. Okay. See what we did? I have 7 pens first. Then from that 2 pens, I picked up. And how much will remain with me? For that, we have to do subtraction. This is the sign for subtraction. See, 7 minus 2. How much it will be? 5. Very nice. The 5 pens remain with me. Remains with me. Isn't it, students? So, this, this process is called as subtraction. We are making the difference between these two amount. Okay? Let us solve some problems. You have learned in the third standard that is there are two types of subtraction. By regrouping or without regrouping. There are two types to solve the subtraction problem. First one is without regrouping and second one is with regrouping. See my dear students, there are two types. What is the meaning for without regrouping? For example, see here I am going to write a number 79 and I am going to subtract 11 from this 79. See, I have 79 flowers, for example. And I am going to take 11 flowers from them. How much flowers will remain with me? Okay, let us count. Okay, for that we have to do subtraction. See, the regrouping means always the greater number is there above smaller number. Okay? Ones place, tens place. See, 9 minus 1, what, is, what will be the value? 8. Very good. 7 minus 1, 6. So, 68 flowers will be remain with me. Okay? Now, this is the, this is the process with, without regrouping. We didn't do, do any regrouping here. But with the regrouping, grouping means what? means here I am going to write a number that is 55 and I am subtracting 90 from this 55 ok for example I have 55 fruits for example ok and in that 90 fruits I have given to somebody else then how much fruits will remain with me Okay, let us do the subtraction. See here, I am going to write ones place and this is the tens place. Okay, 5 minus 9, can we do that? No, 5 is less than 9. So, here we are going to do the regrouping. Means what? Here, 1 is jump from 5 to tens place to ones place. Then, here the value will be 15 and 1 will be less from this 5. So, how much here it will be? 4. So, these both values are cancelled.
cancer and we get new values here. This process is called as with regrouping. See here, 15 minus 9, we can do. How much it will be? 6. Very good. Then, here there is a 4. 4 minus 1? 3. How much fruits will remain with me? 36 fruits. So, here come to know, here you all come to know about the two processes of subtraction that is without regrouping and with regrouping. So, in the third standard, you have learned about these two processes. Okay. So, let us solve another problem from subtraction. See here, I am going to write a number, three digit number. Let us solve a problem from three digit number. See, 541. See here, I have written any three digit number. And I am going to subtract it, subtraction with 1. 57. So here, which process I have to use? I have to use with regrouping. Means here you have to change the larger number with respect to the 157. See here, ones place, tens place, hundred place in there. Okay, one minus seven. Can we do that? No. So here I have to have cancel 1 and 3. 1 jump from 4 to 1 and here it will be 11. And at the place of 4, the value will be 3. Here again, 3 minus 5, can we do that? No. Here again, 3 cancels, 1 jump from 5 and here the value will be 13. See, we can do 13 minus 5. But here, this 1 jump from 5. 100 plus. So, the value changes by 1 and we get 4 here. So, see, 11 minus 7. How much it will be? 4. Very good. Then, 13 minus 5. Do, do that calculation that is 8. Very good. Then 4 minus 1, 3. So we get the subtracted value that is 384. Like this we have to do subtraction. Okay children. Now we will move on to some properties of subtraction. If any number, see I have a number 21. If we subtract 0 from 10, 21, which value will get? We get 21. This is one of the property of subtraction. Okay. So, if we subtract 1 from any number, we get 20. 20 means the predecessor of 21. What we get? Predecessor of the original value. Okay. Then, if we subtract the given value with that value itself, we get answer that is 0. These three are the properties for subtraction. Okay? Recall all the concept. You all know this concept very well. This is from first standard. Okay? Now, let us move on to the another process that is multiplication. So, you know, adding means, addition means we add all the objects, all the values together. Here, multiplication means what? Multiplication means repeated addition. See, I have example for you. Apples are 100 rupees per kg. The value for apple is for 1 kg, you have to pay, pay 100 rupees. Okay. Somebody went to the shop and buy 5 kg of apples. To buy 5 kg apples, how much money 
you have to pay to the shop okay to do this you have to do the multiple additions means 5 times you have to write 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 5 times we have to do addition but to skip this process we can do multiplication means how many times the 100 comes here 5 times so 100 into 5 we get the value for this that means 500 rupees so a person have to pay 500 rupees to the shop to buy 5 kg apples so this is nothing but the process of multiplication so let us solve another example for multiplication your mother is buying for example okay your mother is buying some vegetables in that tomato is 10 rupees per kg okay and potato is 30 rupees per kg now what your mother is doing what she did she take 2 kg tomatoes and 1 kg potato so she is getting confused how much money you have to play pay to the shop okay you have to help your mother how by doing multiplication see here tomato per kg is 10 rupees you have to buy 2 kg tomatoes then how to do the calculation here 10 into 2 means 20 rupees so here, here you have to pay 20 rupees for tomato and potato for 1 kg that is 30 rupees so 30 rupees into 1 that is 30 so total amount how much the total amount will give see here 20 plus 30 to do total all the time we have to do addition ok how much will it be it will be 50 rupees so your mother have to pay 50 rupees to the shop to buy these two vegetables ok got to know this point of multiplication so my dear students today in this class what we have learned we have learned about subtraction means from a group we picked up some object then the remaining amount we get that remaining amount to know this remaining amount we have to do subtraction and multiplication is the repeated addition to avoid this repeated addition process we do multiplication so today in this class we have learned about these two points isn't it so you have to do homework also so I am going to give you homework for subtraction so you have to solve these two sums by the process we have to I have told no regrouping or without regrouping second one is these two examples for subtraction and multiplication twenty five into twelve for multiplication second example ninety three into seven okay you have to solve these two examples in your home as a homework and you have to show me tomorrow so in the next class, we will learn the next concept from